I, I just think w- without having the mindset to embrace delayed gratification, one or two things happens. Um, you you grab things before you were supposed to hold them. Or your heart gets sick because you don't hold it yet. And with delayed gratification, you just have the ability to say, I know that this is something I desire, but I don't need it now. Right? Like, like, um, take a single person for X, for, for instance, that has a very healthy sex drive and wants to be married. Um, they have to exercise delayed gratification. Right? They want to have sex, but they're a believer in Jesus Christ. And so, based on that alone, they have to wait until they're married. If they don't exercise delayed gratification, they talk themselves into a cheaper version of a relationship to satisfy something that can be satisfied for the rest of their lives if they just wait. So, if If, um, uh, when I was single, uh, before I met Juliet, I was dating this girl and we were at, um, my apartment and, um, we were kissing. We didn't get into like, my hands didn't go anywhere, but I was macking her down. Okay. So it was, it was, it was, it was some good kissing. It wasn't just like some pecs, right? Tongue, tongues were rolling. Okay. Um, but our hands weren't going anywhere, but it was some passionate kissing and it was like, oh, this is great. And then so um, we stopped at one point and she was like, she was like, well, she was like, you're going to have to tell me when to stop. Because I'm just going to have to trust you on the boundary of when to stop. I broke up with her. No, not in that moment. But I knew when she said that, I had to break up with her. Or she was going to have my baby, and we weren't going to be married. I would have literally smashed. I would have been three more dates from smashing. I wouldn't have done it, like, the very next time. But in the back of my mind, old Timmy was like, fam, you know what this means. If she's saying, I don't know when to stop unless you tell me, then it's after I ejaculate. This is this is facts. I see too many single people that love Jesus play themselves into these sexual relationships. And let me just say, I'm not just talking about penis and vagina. I got I got it. It's 2022. Let me let me let me slow roll this. Okay. Any sexual activity outside of marriage is fornication. I'm tired of the technicality of, you know what I mean? Well, he didn't put his penis in my vagina. I didn't put my penis in her vagina, right? I put it in her butt. It's a whole thing, okay? Oh, we just have oral sex. Well, it was just my fingers. Oh, it was just a hand job. Oh, you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we just grinded on each other until... Oh, we still had our clothes on. Stop, fam. Just, you are playing, you're not playing with fire. You're playing with a freaking volcano. Why would you do this to yourself, right? Now, I know it sounds, um, uh, I, I know it's going to land on some people as hypocritical because I'm married. Well, you married, you've been married for 23 years, so you're getting some. So, do you know how much I travel? Before you get before you get married, you have to delay the gratification of sex until you get in a relationship. When you get married, there's going to be so many seasons where you have to delay the gratification of sex as you travel, as she has kids, as there's a sickness, as there's all these different things that go on. Y'all argued, and so there hasn't been a connection in two and a half weeks. Is that going to – are you now justified? Well, I got to get it from somewhere. If you don't maintain that discipline now – you won't, main it, you won't maintain it later. So I know I just jumped straight on sex on, uh, as an example, but you can, you can apply this to money. Of course, you can apply this to 
you know, I feel like God's called me to preach. You ain't supposed to preach now. Just go to work on time. How about that? <laughs> God taught me more about ministry working at Gatorade than he did when I got my first youth pastor position, young adult pastor position. So delay gratification covers all aspects. Um, but I went sex, and so I guess somebody needed to hear that. I ain't taking it back. 